I am not gonna start this video with you licking my shin. talked to you guys in a while because I kind of have it um, when you're seeing this video is probably going to be the third week in where I didn't have a hair video I was having vlogs but no actual hair videos but I'm back had some technical difficulties with the computer and the camera but they're both working right now they're both working with me right now I'm here to give you guys three secret ingredients to use on your locks to make it grow and blossom and flourish. No, we're not talking about flowers, but I have the three, three counted, three products that will work best on your hair. The three best products in your whole lock and dread journey that you are going to need in your hair. And it's all you need. And once you have these three things, you'll be good to go. The first product. I'm not even sure you can consider it a product, but it's... Water! Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, water! <laughs> okay, it, it makes your hair nice and healthy, um, it moisturizes it, and it just, you know, it just keeps your hair nice and shiny and just beautiful all the time water is always your friend except for when you have curls that you're trying to make last for a week not talking about anyone specifically but some people have curls that they would like to last for a week and they kind of run away from that water they're a little afraid of the water though sometimes they even be afraid to step in the shower because some of that water might get sprinkled on those curls and that's not going to be a good thing but guess what water water is one of the magical ingredients that you would need in your lock journey to go far all right and number two what do you guys think number two is i'll give you three seconds to think what goes with the water the oil the oil the oil comes right after the water yes the oil Yes, the oil is the second secret ingredient, the magic potion, the product, the magical product that's going to do wonders for your hair. So after you have that water in your hair, you want to seal it with that oil. So yes, the oil, the oil. Ladies and gentlemen, the oil. <laughs> the oil comes after the water and that makes your hair soft. It holds in the moisture and it's just all around just great for your hair um, you don't have to use it that often after you put water on your hair the first secret ingredient you can put the oil in maybe two three times a week if you're anything like me maybe once a week you know depends on your hair and what works for you and last but not least guess what's number three guess no 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 not on my time little puppy and number three, I'm gonna give you five seconds to guess this one. All right, you're out of time, and I know it wasn't even the full five seconds, but I'm just like so excited. I just, I just need to, I just need to tell someone what that, 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 that third one is. Oh, <laughs> shampoo, <laughs> paraben-free shampoo, guys. Oh my gosh. Shampoo. Oh yes, it's just shampoo. Oh, nothing fancy, just enough that's gonna get, you know, the grime out of your hair and also not take all the moisture out. Um, some people are going to tell you you need conditioner. Some people are going to tell you that you need conditioner. Some people are going to tell you you need hot oil treatment. Some people are going to say you need to steam your hair. I didn't even know what a steamer was until a few months ago when I heard people talking about it. There's just so much 
techniques and things out there that people keep saying that you need and I'm guilty of trying almost everything that I've seen online but guess what just a simple water oil and shampoo has been working great for me for the past three months and I mean that's it that's the only thing that touches my hair I mean I put dye in every once in a while but as far as keeping up my hair it's just water, oil, and shampoo. I shampoo my hair every three weeks, and I moisturize at least once a week. And that's it. I don't retwist with any products, just water and oil, and it's been working for me. No conditioner, not, no hot oil treatments, and definitely no steamers. So some people make it a little bit harder than it needs to be, but it really isn't. I don't even use mousse to put my curls in. Like this, this is like a week like a week, um, what was it, rod set, and it's this, the curls, the curls are still looking pretty good, I mean, they've dropped, but I mean, they didn't really drop, drop until like, after this last workout I just left from, but it's still, it's still looking pretty good, like, this is what my hair would look like if I had the mousse in a week later, so, yeah, so, guys, less is more, I think I kind of made a video on this before, but yeah, less is more. The less you do to your hair, the better. I don't have any product buildup or anything. So I hope that you guys consider these three magical, magical potions and products to put in your hair. Tell me if you kind of follow like a similar routine like me when it comes to the products that you use in your hair. And put it in the comments below. I want to hear like always. And thanks for watching, perps. I'm going to see you next Friday. I promise. Bye.